Today I'm going to talk about the snail by Henry Matisse, done in 1953. So, this is the paper cutout, the snail, and it is a paper cutout. So, um, Matisse had some problems with his legs later on in his life, so it was inconvenience for him to do huge masterpiece of art. So he hired. Assistance, and、um, so in that way he can finish art more easily. So, the way Matisse done this artwork was pretty cool. He used、um, little pieces of paper and colored them into the color he wanted in gouache, which is like a kind of opaque watercolor, and cut down the shapes and tear them. So he called paper cutting painting with scissors, and he didn't really calculate or like think about what kind of shape he wanted. He just let the scissors do their job, and you can see that the edges are a little bit. Some of the edges are not really neat, and that's because they are tiered by Matisse. So after he done that, he placed it onto a piece of paper into the shape he likes and wants. After that. He had some professions to calculate, to calculate the exact number and distance between each paper, and pin them onto a gigantic piece of canvas, and then glued them on. So it's quite interesting, and it's really large. This is like in life size. It's like this big. So it is now at the Tate Museum in London. The reason that it's called the snail is because that it is actually the shape of the snail, not like visually, not like just visually, but also mathematically. You can see、um, on the left there is a snail shell, and on the right there is this strange, queer mathematic shape. So it is sort of like um, uh, like a. Golden swirl that represents the snail. Well, so I did this for the hands-on exercise, and I just tried to do exactly what Matisse did, like paint paper with gouache and place them, um, cut them and tear them, and then place the paper onto a white one into the shapes that I like. So it's not really something that you have to think too much about, but it's not as easy to create a masterpiece like Matisse. So try it out at home. It's actually pretty fun, and you don't need a lot of equipment. Thank you for watching.